Good Wednesday evening. I hope you had a wonderful day in the Lord. Let me ask you this right now. How are you feeling? Are you in a bad mood? Or do you feel stressed? Or do you feel light or heavy? You know, um, two words that the Lord brought to me this evening when I came home. I just had a 12-hour day. And we can either be in a funk or we could allow our circumstances to serve as a function. Funk or function. So I looked at this um, old dictionary back from the 40s or 50s, and it gives the original meaning of a lot of words. The word funk, and I know, you're like, why is she going into it? Means that you have, you are cowering in fear. Fear um, you have a sense of panic, you're being afraid of something frightening, um, you're flinching, okay, on and on. That's what a funk is. And what happens is the enemy will start feeding us messages. And before you know it, we're feeling all low and despondent because we're believing his lies. And that's how we get in this funk. Like, why am I feeling this way? because you are feasting on some untruths. Whereas a function is the proper work or normal action or purpose. And this has something to do with the second letter in Thessalonians, the first chapter in verse 11. Timotheus uh, picked this verse and I did too. And I'm gonna let him um, speak on uh, this verse 11, but I'm gonna read it, it's in verse 11. Yeah. Ooh, look, I'm in first Thessalonians. Definitely. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. Of course, the enemy wants to attack us in our faith, right? And he wants to attack us on our purpose. He doesn't want God to fulfill his purpose in us, in us. So, of course, we're going to get in a funk when we start fearing that, you know, God is not going to do what he said he's going to do. In fact, in Luke, I believe it's the first chapter in 45, where I believe Elizabeth said to her cousin Mary, when Mary found out that she, you know, was the chosen one to carry the Christ child. She said, there shall be a performance of the things that has been told to you. So maybe you can't hear the Lord. Maybe you can't hear the Lord. But I am saying to you, or maybe you need to say to someone or say to yourself, there shall be a performance of the things that God has said to you. All right. Because you have faith. And also in Luke 848, the woman who was uh, bowed down in an infirmity for 12 years, right? Bleeding. After Jesus healed her, what did he say? He said, your faith, your faith has made thee whole. Be of good comfort. Go in peace. So what was your takeaway from uh, verse 11, Timotheus? Um, I said, uh, like a lot of people be asking God for a lot, like they'll... You'd be like, oh, let me get this job. Let me like go to the school, whatever. Mm -hmm. But but what they don't be doing, like what they don't do at the same time, like they don't have the right motivation. Mm -hmm. So like they'll go to that, that, that stuff for the wrong reason. Like they'll want the job just to like so they can gain more money. But like what God wants us to do is like so we can get that position so we can glorify him more and honor him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I don't know, not, not like promote him but just just show others like what he's done for them instead of like you know a lot of people they'll they'll start to take all the credit for that like i did this i'm self-made stuff like that but that's that's a bunch of baloney that's a bunch of baloney yeah. and in fact that is the lord's <clears throat> good pleasure that's glorifying him where he fulf the fulfillment of his good pleasure is that all the credit all the value, all the esteem goes back to him and not us, not for our selfish desires. So yeah, that's back in verse 11. So working backwards in verse seven, to you who are troubled, rest with us. Rest in the Lord's promises, right? God has 
plans for each one of us. So let's not be uh, flustered in verse four with persecutions and tribulations. We're going to have to endure, but let us have patience and faith in him. And remember how Paul would greet many of the followers, grace and peace to you. So let those fruits just, oh, just marinate in you and enjoy every one of the functions of the spirit because he is here to comfort us. Do not get in a funk. Get that fear away. Mm -mm. We have perfect faith in our Lord and we know that there should be a perfect performance of the things that he has told to us. All right. You're at peace. Mm -hmm. All right. Hope you have a good evening enjoying God's promises.